So yeah, I just left the uh, quote unquote the uh, Tennessee farm. I'm just outside of Summertown or some small town. I don't know. The closest Walmart. So yeah, I came down here to my side of uh, uh, Wendy's, right? In the next biggest town. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is about the sixth time I got pulled by. This is 5 -0. we got 6 up, we got 2 cars out there right now, behind me, so yeah, um, and they just, they just, uh, you know, got nothing to do but, uh, pull me over and ask me who I am, even though I wasn't doing anything but sitting at Wendy's on the Wi-Fi, because there's no phone service out here, um, but I do have Deer the Goat with me. He's my road dog. A road goat. Oh, look, he come, they're coming back. <sighs> and, uh. Sorry, man, how's it going? Yeah, man, I'm going just over here at, at Wendy's because it seemed like the best. Wi-Fi spot in town oh, because I, I couldn't get the Wi-Fi to work anywhere else um, yeah. I, So I was just sitting here on the, on the Wi-Fi checking my Facebook real quick and trying to figure out where I'm going next I got you. Where you going from there? This is Facebook live. Mm -hmm. have, we have over a dozen people watching yeah. right now okay. I usually get on whenever I talk to cops in case there's an issue Do you? Okay. Step out of the vehicle. Why? Because I asked you first I'm back here with you. The only reason we talked is because it's just kind of suspicious you've been out here with Wendy's man Clyde. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm just passing through. I got you. Where you come from? I, I've been all over. Um, I was just coming from up north. The uh, last place I was in Nashville. Last place you was in Nashville? Yeah, and they told me that they didn't want me to stay in Nashville with a goat. Even though it's a service animal. Really? Yeah. You know, it's a service animal? Yeah. Okay. What does it do for you? Uh, I have a service paperwork right here in my window. Okay. Come over here. Back over here in there. Where is that you found? I'm trying to follow up. Just found that. Just you found in there, phone. I appreciate if you don't touch my stuff. Okay. Can you see this thing, please? Yeah. You fall, your eyes and your eyes only, don't move your head, okay? Charles down your side for me. Why are you giving me a survival test? I'm not even driving. Because I don't want to check and see, make sure you're okay. Well, I'm a person with disabilities, you know that, right? Okay, yeah, I'm I have it. TBI. Okay. You have TBI? What's that? Uh, you have know, copy, you don't know what TBI is. It's Cabanic Spain Energy. Okay. Does okay. that mean I have a disability of my, I fell on my head when I was a child? Do you? Okay. Okay? Okay. Put your arms down your side for me. Don't you fault with your eyes, okay? Okay. Don't move your head. Okay. Businesses. That's why we stop and check them out. 
I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the only reason we stopped the chicken, okay? It ain't because you're in any trouble, it ain't because you've done anything. We just have to stop and check you out. You understand that? Yeah. All right. So you don't worry you hit it, you just come here from Nashville, you said last time? Yeah, last that's right. Time. And then everybody told me that, hey, you need, you need to be, you need to go check out the farm, and the farm is a bunch of hippies out there, and you will fit right in. Yeah. And, and you get a free place to live, and blah, blah, blah. And I came out there and ate like a bunch of, oh, we tired rich people or whatever, I don't really feel they they just didn't really I don't know, they wasn't really open to the outside of it. Oh of, really? Kinda of like, you know, like the lady like, Are you sure you wanna go look around? Everything is closed and I'm like, Well I really I mean I'll just all the way down here from Nashville or really wanna see what you guys got going on. Well you can never take a look at the store down there the end of the road and that pretty much was it. It was a store that you know, had stuff that they were selling to the community. Right. It was overpriced and there was somebody business inside it. I mean they had a, a couple of businesses inside at the side mostly be like no older stuff where they make stuff and send it out. Like they were guy doing dye candles and I mean mainly they just sell sell pizza for it. And it wasn't really what I thought it would be. So I'm like well that and then they asked if I could stay for a few days and they're like no. You don't let people stay here, it's not a home of trouble. You know, like, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, well, so I'm like, you know, I can go back to, you know, Lafayette where I was from, but it's off the cold up there, man. I got a place to stay up there, I got a place to stay, you know, I'm not home. Was it like, in Virginia? Yeah, you know, and I can go back to Virginia. Yeah, was it, where's, where's Lafayette? Lafayette? Is it up around there? Yeah. Is it? Okay. I didn't know where it was. Yeah, well, yeah, that's making me sound. That's where I got the plate from. I, I just bought the car. Oh, did you? That's why I, you know, I just bought the car. I rested on the, on the 8th. It's only the 12th. That's four days ago. Yeah. yeah. Like, where are you living at? You living in your car pretty much from now? Well, yeah, I just mean, bouncing around, you know. Yeah. Going place to place and trying to figure out where to go. You know, and I have a mission, I have a, a non-profit organization that's called the Rockwell Foundation, yeah. where I help remote and inspire the homeless people. I go around and I talk to the homeless people and the locals and yeah. about their hopes and their dreams and follow their ambitions and try and get their lives together. Yeah. Because I feel like it's very important to inspire people, you know, because especially the people that I felt down and out. Because I believe everybody has a place in this world. I just do it. You know, and, and uh, you know, sometimes these people just forgot their place in the world. Yeah. So. Oh man, we're gonna ask you to move on from Weezy, okay? Uh -huh. Just because it's closed. You'll come back tomorrow when we open you more welcome to you. Uh -huh. Okay? You need to know how to get anywhere that you want to go? Or I mean, good? is it a bigger town? We'll say it's closest to the next town. Well, go south? Yeah. We're right here. And, and what's going on? What's, what's south of here? Place Florence, Alabama. Wow, am I that far south? Yes, yeah. sir. You're, you're about, about at the state line right now. About, well, about, it's about, what, 40 miles? 30 miles? Probably 30. 30, 30 miles. 30 miles from Florence, from Alabama. State line. Yeah, I was just checking out where I was and where I was going. And, and maybe I should go back down. So, what's the review on that? Just keep seeing the park lot on that. It's fun, okay? Uh, you go find you another place and you can go up and sit there for help. Alright. Alright? Alright. Have a good night, man. Alright, bye bye. See ya. See ya. <sighs> well, I found a uh I found an Amish fellow that is uh making raincoats and uh and um he's gonna make me a new coat tomorrow out of canvas heavy heavy canvas it's almost a little bit too hot, uh, too well put together um but uh yeah well if i don't get arrested between now and then so that i probably should get going uh, maybe I should keep yawning here for a minute, just in case they pull me over in the next five minutes.
Hey, what's up, Rock Club Foundation? So four years ago, I was just a man with a goat. I didn't know what YouTube was. I was like Facebook, all over Facebook, thinking Facebook was a way to keep connected with people. And I, you know, I realized, didn't realize that YouTube was and all about YouTube videos. And now, you know, and so, you know, it's great. And now we're traveling America, making the world a better place, going to all these hippie hippie places and stuff like hippie communes. I went to the first uh, hippie commune in America. They they call it the farm. The, the Tennessee farm. Like it's literally the farm where like started the first hippie commune. And that way everybody went back in the 60s and 70s, right? And like I was saying in the story about you know, there's just a you know, kind of not much going on now. But I mean, it's, it's, but it's still a lot. I still recommend you guys going down and uh, checking out. I do have some of my older videos of me on the Tennessee farm on my YouTube channel. I think I did I think I was uploading to YouTube at that point, but not very much. So like, um, because it was a like a big deal back then. Um, and then I was you know so I was leaving the farm, didn't know where I was going because I didn't realize it farm was not the place that you know wanted to hang out so I went to the farm for a, a day or two I ended up getting harassed by the cops sitting outside the farm on us which is crazy so this is the story of me getting harassed by the cops a few years ago while I was traveling America trying to make a world a better place with a goat and a dream of making the world a better place and I think I could still make a world a better place you know, one way or other, inspiring people, being dreams of ghetto. But one thing I want you guys to do, hit, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, because I'd probably think that you probably have it already, because you guys probably are new here, don't even know who I am or the goat. Yeah, so yeah, I haven't traveled across the country with a service animal that happened to be a goat. And yeah, so, I don't know, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, memory of me and my travels with a goat. Um, please subscribe. I'm going to be uploading more of my old videos on YouTube. So, yeah.